All right, it's good to be here. Look at this beautiful place. We've got the ocean, we've got the sunshine. It's gonna rain later today, but right now the sun is shining. I am getting onto my little mat here and we're gonna start a workout today. This is all about holistic working out, holistic living. Uh, the idea here is not to beef up. As you can see, I'm not a beefcake. I'm just a really healthy person. I'm 38 years old and I feel like I'm 20. So this is a workout that I do every single morning. And today we're going to focus on middle back health, uh, pistol squats for leg strength, which is very, very convenient for climbing. And then also uh, we're going to do some biceps, important muscle, you wanna work it out. So, what we're using here are some PT bands. These are the same ones that you'll get if you do physical therapy at the hospital. Uh, they are very easy to use, they're very easy to get, you can get these almost anywhere. And uh, they make for great workout props. Uh, so I've got Let's see, uh, this one right here is great for the first exercise we're gonna do. Uh, it's one of the most important exercises that I do. It is related to back health. Uh, it will strengthen the muscles around your back. So a lot of us who are working on computers and get a little hunched over over time, uh, the, the pain that you can start to experience in your back after many years of that can be debilitating. I literally woke up one morning in 2020, late 2020, and uh, it felt like I had been hit by a truck in the middle of the night. I woke up at 4 a.m., excruciating pain, could barely move at all, barely able to get out of bed. Uh, and for, for someone who's a, a rock climber, alpinist, diver, skier, snowboarder, you name it, uh, surfer, I, I just really uh, could not imagine being that paralyzed. And uh, this exercise is one of the main exercises that has made that pain entirely go away. Uh, on another day we'll talk about uh, shoulders. I also had chronic pain in shoulders and elbows and that pain is gone as well. So uh, let's dive into this exercise. It's a pretty straightforward one. You're going to want to have uh, a PT band of a lighter, um, lighter difficulty, so not too much resistance. And you're going to tie it into a loop as such. Uh, it's about, it's a little, I'd say total, it's about a foot, the loop. And then when you put your hands, it'll be a little less than a loop. But what we're going to do is we're going to uh, really find that perfect posture. Uh, so a little tiny bit of flex in the knees. Uh, you're gonna lean forward just a tiny bit and then you're gonna push your, your butt in, you're gonna pull your tummy in and pull your shoulders back and pull your head back. And that's why you gotta lean forward just ever so slightly because if you pull all that back and you're back here, that's not real good posture. So nice and straight. And then you're gonna imagine there's a wall in front of you and while putting tension on these like out, it doesn't have to be a huge amount of tension, but put some. So while holding that tension, you're gonna slide your hands up an invisible wall in front of you and then exhale and bring it back. And make sure you're keeping the elbows in. I don't wanna see anything like that. So, coming back down, and two, there it is. So this is really uh, gonna be something you can feel in your upper back if you're doing it right. Uh, not your neck, but your upper back. Four. And if you're doing it right, this actually should be a somewhat challenging exercise. I tried to do this one every other day. Uh, keeps that upper back strong, avoids any pain from coming back, uh, along with a few other stretches that are helpful. 
And uh, there are some people, uh, you know, if this is your first time doing this and you've had bad posture for a little while, this can be quite challenging. So you might, you know, stop at like five reps or 10 reps. But yeah, that's a good one. I can feel it. And I can also really feel it in my shoulders. The, uh, the back of my shoulders, kind of where they meet with the shoulder blades. Some good stuff right here. You gotta, you gotta learn to enjoy the burn. You know, if you don't enjoy the burn, everything's gonna be harder. It's just like, give it a good smile. Just know that that burn is the sign that your workout is working, that you're doing the right thing, that you're gonna see the results. Ah, don't let it discourage you. And try to, try to practice pushing through it. You know, it's kind of like cold plunging, which is really popular nowadays. Everyone wants to cold plunge. Uh, which is great. I might jump in the ocean at the end of this workout. Oh my god, I'm really feeling this. Well, pushing through the burn is basically the same thing as cold plunging. It's telling your body, despite its protests, that you're going to keep on going. Oh. Oh, and it's really sexy. You know, someone who, who doesn't give up even when there's a challenge, that's a very attractive trait. Uh, you know, and not just for your romantic partner, but for your employer, for people you lead. Uh, the ability to push through even when your body is saying no. Um, you know, obviously within reason uh, is it's a very, very desirable trait to develop. So, that was the, uh, the back. Now we're going to move into uh, some pistol squats. Pistol squats are pretty straightforward. Uh, but they're really not easy. Uh, so you might even see me flail a little bit here. I'm gonna try to find a really good spot on the ground. It's pretty good right there. This floor is uneven, so, you know, it, uh, choosing such a beautiful location comes with its challenges. So you're going to lift, uh, you're gonna have your arms in front of you. You're gonna lift uh, the leg that's not being used. And that leg is gonna go forward and you're basically just going to come down. Ah. If you can avoid actually sitting, that's better. Can be challenging, you gotta put your weight forward. And then, oh yeah, gonna push up. Can be really hard to do that. If you're having a hard time actually doing the push up, uh, you can aid yourself with your hands. You can have a pole next to you and help yourself up with a pole. Uh, you can also, you'll see here, can just like give it a push with one hand and that'll help. This is awesome. These waves are literally crashing right here. So that's two. Keep it controlled. There we go. That's better. Yeah. Three. Oh, it's hard. I ain't gonna lie. Whew. That was fourth. Let's see if I can do five right here. Let's go five. Yep, gotta give it a little push in that case. Wow. I am telling you, I am gonna be feeling this in my legs. Gonna need to roll these legs out. All right, here we go. Left side's even harder for me. Oh man. There's one. Yep, really having a hard time with the left leg. Two. Three. Getting my heart beating over here. Yeah, so 
says only 112, it's surprising. Four. Ah, five. So as you can see, if you have to cheat a little bit, it's fine. It's better to do the motion as long as you're not getting into like horrible form. Better to do the motion uh, and get a little bit of strength for next time than just don't do it at all and not get the extra strength and stay stuck uh, where you're at. Don't forget to hydrate. Okay. So now I'm gonna show you a bicep exercise. Get these bad boys activated. Uh, you can just use PT bands and you can double up on the PT bands. If you have a kit of nicer bands, like I will be demoing uh, in the next video, that works too. I'm going to double up in this case. And it's really, really simple, primitive way to work out. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. So I'm just gonna place that on the ground and step on the end of it. And in this case, you can see that that's about where it starts to have tension. It's right at arm's length. So that's quite perfect. I'm going to put it in my hand like that and just do some simple bicep curls. You wanna to try to keep your elbow in the same place as you do that. It could be tempting to like let it come back here, but you're gonna get a better curl if you keep the elbow in that same place. Three. Five, six. Always look out for your posture. Seven, let's go. Eight. Nine. Ten. I'm feeling that. 11, 12, oh, that's a good set. Woo! Oh. It's a nice feeling when you get a good workout in. Try to hide from this wind right here. There we go. <laughs> awesome. Okay. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, feeling it. 11, 12, let's go. Oh yeah. All right. So that concludes the first round. 
I'm going to do three rounds of all of these exercises. So, round two for the back. I'm going to take off my shirt here so you can see what muscles are being activated. Same thing, we're gonna find that good posture, that neutral back, pulling our shoulders back, butt in, tummy in, neck back, head back. And putting some tension on this, going out, sliding up that invisible wall. You can also use a real wall, of which there are none right here. We should be able to see the muscles in the back are activating uh, quite a bit actually in this exercise. stuff. Oh, yeah. All right, now we're going to move into some pistol squats. Five solid pistol squats right there. Should get the heart up. Still in a pretty chill zone. 114, 115. Yep. 
I would do three sets. So let's go for set number three. Alright, forward. Let's see 
what this looks like. Sometimes it's nice to close your eyes and just really feel where your body is at. Feel your position. Feel the position of your neck, of your hands, your hips, everything. of pistol squads. Let's see how many we can do. When I started this a couple months ago, I could barely do three. Four. Oh my god. Whew. Last round here. Last exercise. I thought the resistance was quite perfect with these three steps. I have plateaued, plateaued at this resistance for a little bit. I think mainly because I took a two week break on these exercises. So I was focused on backcountry skiing.
I think it's nice to keep these workouts reasonably short so that you don't resent doing them. Like you don't want to burn out and not be in the mood to do it again next time. Frequency is more important than intensity. Let's go six, come on. Yeah. Hell yeah. Well, that was a great freaking workout. What's up, puppy? And uh, yeah, follow next time for more. Stay healthy, my friends.